Terry Highland, first weekend in August, eight teams left in the race for the Sam Maguire Cup. Cavan is one of those. Surely it doesn't come better than that. No, but uh, you know we fully expected that we go well in the championship this year, and, you know, and we hope that again next weekend that it suits us. That well, we got a good game, we got Kerry, and that's where we want to be. And we're back in Crow Park, and the fact that we got through again London uh, the other day helped it as well. Now you would have had a belief, obviously, at the very beginning of the year that you would go far in the championship. But realistically, did you think that in the first weekend in August that you would be playing in Crow Park? I did because you get that feeling from the players. I mean, the players have been working very, very hard all year, and you can see that in the training game they do here, and they work hard through each other. And but maybe it's, it's, we've, we've changed the culture a little bit, and we went down the road of maybe keeping a lot, large panel and working among ourselves rather than going for the challenge match route. And you know, that has brought the players on an awful lot, and it's made, made them very competitive. Now, if we to reflect on the London game, you started particularly well, went into a five points lead. London came back. Was that a blip? Was it nerves? Was it the fact that you were favourites going into the game that uh, maybe didn't produce the best football we've seen all year from Cavan in the last quarter in the first half? Well, that could be, and I suppose the legs probably a little bit heavy from the from our exertions against Derry the week before when we went into extra time, and you know from talking to the lads after the game and said that themselves that they felt very leg heavy, especially in the first half, and it probably was a combination of a lot of things. We had two good goal chances when we walked four or five points up, and probably we got those, maybe the gates would have opened a little bit sooner for us, but you know, in fairness, we corrected it at half time, and the lads came out and kept it under two points in the second half. Well, would it be fair to, fair to say that before the game there was work to be done, but at half time there was probably more work to be done? Well, yes, but you know, and people would say, well, you know, it should have been maybe surgical, and we put, should have put fellas on, but we didn't because we felt that the lads on the pitch were good enough to sort out themselves, and it was only a matter of getting their psyche ready at right rather than their bodies, and they did in fairness when they were back out, and you know, the first two or three attacks didn't yield scores for them, but kept the patience, and then the scores come for them after that. How important is it now to have what's known as a panel and an extended panel of quality players? Well, you know, you have to get to the point is where you hope to have backup for all positions on the pitch. You're not shuffling the deck around all the time to, to you know, if you're if you want to run a half back when you have a ready-made half back sitting on, on, on the bench, and that's what it needs to be. And we're probably a bit away from that yet, but we're getting there. You had a plan in place for a number of years. How far on are you now? Uh, well, I would still say that we're uh, at the earlier stages, maybe you know, getting the last eight coming a little bit sooner than we thought. We would have expected maybe to get to the final issue, which we didn't make. And, and that probably would be our priority next year. Getting out of Division 3 and 4 would be another priority for us next year. And you know, that's what we have to look to. But you know, we've carried play, and that's our priority for this week coming. How much did the defeat in the Ulster Championship hurt these men? It did hurt them, in fairness now. You know, and you know, people said to me about the, you know, the, the, the back door and would be much... You know, issues and trying to get them spirits up for it. And I knew on Tuesday night when we come back here that we had a good team meeting, we had a good training session, and I knew there was going to be more of these lads for the summer. Many of the so-called experts still look at Cavan as probably the fun team in the championship, but the fact that you did go to Celtic Park and that you did get a result, people are beginning to realise now that there's something more substance in this Cavan team than maybe they thought at the beginning. Yeah, well, hopefully, and you know, hopefully we can prove that again when we play Kerry. And I suppose, you know, I suppose if it was a Derry was going to play Kerry next week, they probably wouldn't be saying that it was a foregone conclusion. And, you know, we have beaten Derry, and we deserve to be where we are. And we can only play the teams that come up in front of us. And you know, we are playing Kerry, which is a very, very good team. And you know, we all want to go out and make a good display of. The quarter-final draw was always going to be tough, but it's interesting that you're playing Kerry, and uh, they're a team that you know how they play, you know what to expect from them. Well, that's true, and it's good to get playing probably somebody outside also. We picked up a lot of Ulster teams in the Championship, and it's good and refreshing for the lads to get out to play somebody different, you know what I mean, a different style of football. Was it important to have a game on the belt in Croke Park for the younger players in order to take on Kerry? Well, it was, because in fairness, you know, and as always... People tell you about history wearing heavy on your shoulders, and I didn't realise this laugh of the game. And people said it's not, we haven't won a game in Crow Park since 1952. So at least it's that monkey off our back, and nothing else. Now you will be going in obviously as massive underdogs, but that's a tag I think that sits fairly easily with Cavan. Yeah, well, I suppose that comes from the sitting in Division Three of the league, and I suppose that's what they have been sitting in the, la in the last number of years. You know, I suppose you have to you have to earn your respect to get up the ranks. You know, I mean, we have to still come up the ranks, but you know, in, in the championship we have proved that when. Uh, it's been put up to us that we have reacted on. You know, I think we will do the same again. You have a system in place and every game more that you get in the championship, you're able to perfect it that little bit better. Well that's true, and the lads get more used to it and you know, we probably tweak the system around and change it depending on the opposition that we've played and, and you know, the lads have responded to that and again that goes back to you know, we've, we have good lads who come in and play that type of system or we just don't have one man mark or we have lads who can do different types of jobs and different players on different days. But you have to be very pleased that you have a wonderful panel who are playing for each other and no prima donnas anywhere raising their heads. 
No, well, it's all about the panel, and that's what we have preached all year. You know, in fairness to you in that dressing room, that is, you know, the lads that can tug out, or the lads who just make the 26 player to tug out are feel privileged that they are representing those lads, and that's what it has to be. If you look at the victories that you've had to date and the success that you've had to date, yes, it's the players who do it, but obviously the people yet that have that you have around you as a backroom team are playing a crucial part in this current run. Well, of course, you know, when you have Anthony and Joe and Park and Mark McGovern as well as they and they you know the other three lads will break everything down and dissect it and divide it up and you know it makes life very easy for me in one sense in that you know that's that's what they do and what they like doing and they will present it then in a format that everybody easily understands. You know we we have always believed even at on twenty one on a management style is that it's all about a cooperative and it's not about the manager and the selectors or anybody else, it's about everybody working as a unit and it's the same with the lads on the pitch. Has football got very technical or is it still a very simple game? It's still a very simple game when you go out on the pitch. You know what I mean? It's technical to the point of, you know, you have to do your matchups and you have to have your video analysis and you have to have all your stats and all that. But at the end of the day, as I said, there's one big stat and that's the scoreboard. The focus now on Kerry, getting over that would be a massive uh, injection for Cavan football. But you're very knowledgeable in this area and you think that Cavan are good enough to be Kerry. Well, I think they are, you know I mean, if we go out and perform to, to, to our full ability, and you know what I mean, and we don't let the occasion get to us, I think, yes, we can, of course, we can be carried. I'll tell you, I wish you well. Thank you.